All right, hello everyone. So today we're covering how to um, a couple uh, apps you should be using with your Shopify store. Um, these are the apps that I use in my main store, so I recommend you use them. They're quite powerful, especially Recart. That's going to be one of my main apps. I've also got a few other ones, but um, before we get to that, make sure you join our, our group here. This is our uh, our uh, Facebook group where we want to post any questions. There, you can do that. So. Make sure you join us. Also, we also have private. Um, we're gonna have some private training coming in soon for Shopify, Facebook ads, and um, CPA training too. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram too. All right. So, one of the main apps you want to add is Recall um, because what it does is it actually it's got powerful tracking features which allows you to track emails that have been typed in but not submitted. So this email, even though I haven't subscribed, it will still be able to track the email and it will add it into your email capture list. So, and and that's one one of the best features I'd say from Recap because a lot of people they'll go to checkout and add in the email, but um, they won't complete checkout. And if they don't click this button, this email will be lost, even if they type in everything. On this page you still use the email so and you don't really want that to happen as you can retarget them on Facebook so that's one of the main things you want to you want to enable once you get recall it's just to, um, click on add to car pop-up enable recall so the second feature from them is they got this um, this pop-up that comes up when people click on add to cart and this is another way that you can collect emails um, actually boost boost your list it's quite powerful um, it has like a 70% conversion rate so I, re I highly recommend you use this and just make sure the color goes with the color of your store okay it's pretty simple you can just change in the, in the options and um, and just, just change that ch change the color to your store color and then the third feature that I have is the messenger marketing so what you can do here is, is essentially build a messenger list and send them campaigns so as you can see here you can send them abandoned car messenger campaigns so these come under your under your um under, under the products let's see let me just get one product out of here you can see it tells them if they want to send it to the messenger and when it does it's not working very well not right now because my trial ended because this is not my actual store this is just a test one i created for this particular video so as you can see if I click that it sends it to my messenger and it gives them a 10% or 10% uh, of the discount so I recommend you use this if you can um, you can boost your email list I mean your messenger list and email list also very powerful stuff so those are main three main things you can also go with the push notifications um, I do include that in main stores as well just not in this one this way you can send them a band of car, um, notifications to their mobile device and desktop. So that's the first app, which is Recart. I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can actually get this app. Um, it's very important that you get um, Recart. The second one is probably Overlow. And with Overlow, you can just, um, if you drop ship from AliExpress or similar websites, you can essentially add them into your, to your list over here. So if you get the plugin, you can just import them into your. Let me let me just open this up and show you. But yeah, all you really do is you can just import them into there, and so let's let's just import a product from um, from AliExpress so I can show you how to do this. Um, Let's go, let's go for necklace so it depends where you're getting your, your products from uh, so this can be quite quite powerful and then the next the next few ones would be a help center this is just for a um, frequently asked questions page a lot of people they don't have that so if you can get that make sure to send it, set, um, set it to a horizontal view so that you can get it um, you can get a nice layout you can do that in the settings within the help center it's pretty simple so yeah just having a frequent ask question page is going to be quite quite good for your for your page i mean for your website 
order tracking, you get that through um, Aftership. So all you do is within Aftership, you click on um, find new apps and then you download the order tracking app. It takes two seconds and they'll give you a link. And what you do is you go to your online store. So you just you just get that link, it's, pretty, it's very simple. You go to your online store, to pages, and you create an order tracking page. And all you do is, I mean, they, they, they have the instructions in there. Uh, sure, but I'm just going to show you again just in case. So you just go into order tracking, you create a page for it, and just make sure to go to the HTML section. So this is the HTML section here. You can see, you just go in there, paste in the code, save it, add it to your navigation, and it'll be right there. And they can just track their orders from here. Fortunately, you can't customize these buttons and stuff like that, but it should be okay. All right. Uh, I think I think there's one more. Yeah, one more. The last one's probably the currency converter. So this is pretty important too uh, for people who are not uh, who are from different countries. I've only got a free trial on this one for for this store because I don't I don't use this store. So it's just got so it'll allow you to just change the value um, the currency value. That, that's, that can be pretty good. So these are just five ones you probably want to download as soon as you get um, the store the store up and running. And one more I probably say is the recommended products, but you can do that um, if you want it, because these are all free. Well, most of my free trials as well, especially this one. But if you don't want to do that, you can add it in the code. Just search on how to add recommended products to your theme, because each theme is different. So. I can't make a tutorial on that because everything is has its own tutorial. But it's very simple. Just go on Google, search how to um, how to add recommended products to my theme, and you should get a nice little tutorial. Or you, you can just get it from the um, App Store and buy an app if you want. The one I recommend is called it's called Also Bought. I use that on my store, my main stores. So it's up to you. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. Uh, you can add one, that, that's one signal that I've added here. So let me just, that's called one signal. That's because I don't want to be dependent on other apps to, because other apps to do my email stuff. It's like having an email list, but then having another company without having access to your email list, basically. So I don't really want that with, this, with one signal. I can have my list of um, push subscribers and basically I can do whatever I want instead of doing it within another app. So I recommend you just get one signal and it will be a button like that. Make sure you go for the HTTP version, even though it's um, HTTPS. Make sure you get HTTP because um, Shopify doesn't allow like a direct connection or something like that. So well, I made that mistake before. I did in HTTPS, and basically, um, you, you build your subscribe list, but as soon as you want to send notification, it won't work. It, it, it just won't work. So, get HTTP, and you should be okay. So, you just join the group and um, follow me on Instagram. If you join the group for private training videos that are coming soon. And that's all there is for now. So, peace out.